With the results of Tesla's Q3 earnings recently coming out, investors were able to see the long-term direction that Tesla is heading towards. Most important, they improved automotive gross margins despite lower regulatory credits, showing that Tesla is becoming more efficient at manufacturing. Out of all of Tesla's fundamentals, the progress at the Gigafactory is paramount and is key to Tesla's domination in the acceleration of sustainable energy. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what machines in the Gigafactory set Tesla apart and explain why I believe the Gigafactory's improving efficiency will obliterate the competition. Welcome to Kazgains Academy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. As Elon likes to say, the Gigafactory is the machine that builds machines. When Giga Nevada first went into construction in 2014, it was merely a project. Now, as it's coming to fruition, Giga Nevada is the main driver to Tesla's current and future success. With Giga Texas, Giga Berlin, and Giga Shanghai currently in the works, Tesla's ability to construct Gigafactories has improved substantially since the construction of Giga Nevada. The first phase of Giga Nevada took two entire years to complete construction. In comparison, Giga Shanghai took only 10 months to finish its first stage while costing 65% less. The fact that Giga Shanghai took 58% less time to build and cost 35% less shows how Tesla's Gigafactory, the machine that builds the machine, is beginning to be built more efficiently. Using precast concrete elements, the entire Giga Berlin is estimated to be built in less than 11 months. Giga Texas is also estimated to have its first phase built by May of 2021, which is around 10 months from the start of construction. This all sounds great, but it gets even better. In addition to the construction times accelerating downwards, Tesla's Gigafactory outputs are increasing by a substantial amount through the vertical integration of battery manufacturing. With Panasonic, a Gigafactory would have an estimated output of 150 gigawatt hours. With Tesla's vertical integration into batteries, a Gigafactory would have an output of 1000 gigawatt hours, also known as 1 terawatt hour. What this means is that Tesla's production numbers are about to accelerate not linearly, but exponentially. Elon has set a goal of achieving 20 million deliveries per year by the year 2030, and it might seem crazy at first, but if you factor in the constantly increasing efficiencies of the Gigafactory, this starts to seem a lot more realistic. Wall Street does not understand this, and they're about to be left in the dust once this plays out over the next 5 years. Now that we know that Tesla's production is on the brink of hitting exponential growth, let me take you on a tour of Tesla's recent improvements of its Gigafactory machines and explain what's actually driving this growth. First of all, what is casting and why does this matter? Take a look at how this normal casting machine works. The machine will take a single sheet of steel and mold that sheet of steel in order to fit the shape needed. In a matter of seconds, an entire body part of a car is completed. The larger this body part is, the faster production can be. Simplifying this process will be extremely important for maximizing output. This clip was from Audi's factory, now compare it to Tesla's. This machine is Tesla's Model Y Giga casting machine which is the largest casting machine ever made. By eliminating 79 parts of the car, this saves 40% of the cost of the rear underbody compared to the previous Model 3. At Giga Berlin, the Model Y's underbody will be made of just one sheet of steel. Keep in mind that the Model 3's underbody was made with 70 pieces of metal, and now, the European Model Y's underbody will be made with one piece of metal. This is the revolution of AI and machines that we've been looking for. With the addition of Tesla's Roadrunner cells at Berlin, the Model Y will have 370 fewer parts and a 10% mass reduction purely off of the Gigafactory's innovations. Yet none of these innovations come close to what's about to happen at Giga Texas with the Cybertruck. With the Cybertruck, the entire exoskeleton will be made out of one large sheet of steel. Just imagine that for a second. Legacy automakers have to use thousands of parts just to create one vehicle, whereas the Cybertruck will need one gigantic casting machine to make the entire vehicle's exoskeleton. Why is this so important? It's because not only will Tesla's margins increase by substantial amounts, but also the Gigafactory's output. This is why Giga Texas will have a far larger output than any other Gigafactory ever made before. GM recently announced their new vehicle, the Hummer EV, which does look awesome but has a massive price tag that isn't even comparable to the Cybertruck. When comparing the 250 mile range models together, the Hummer EV costs 2 times more, at a price of $80,000. Not only that, but just look at the delivery dates for this vehicle. The Hummer EV's base model will be available in Spring 2024, whereas the Cybertruck's single motor will come in late 2022. First principles thinking and execution have propelled Tesla's Gigafactory to be far superior to others. Now casting machines are revolutionary, but we haven't even started on additive manufacturing. Additive 
additive manufacturing, better known as 3D printing, has massive potential for powering the next decade. Elon Musk has mentioned that additive manufacturing is quite costly for cars right now, but has massive potential for decreasing the time it takes to create parts. Tasha Kini from ARK Invest estimates that eventually, a lot of manufacturing operations will use 3D printers. This isn't very far off from Tesla's vision, as they've been recently looking to get 3D printers at Giga Nevada, according to a new job post. They should rapidly increase the production output of Giga Nevada, although keep in mind that costs will likely be higher, which will lower their margins in the short term. When the economies of scale play out with 3D printers, it will start to make a lot of sense for improving the Gigafactory's efficiency. On a larger scale, because Tesla is becoming more efficient at frameworking and constructing Gigafactories, the number of Gigafactories being built will accelerate faster than you think, especially with Tesla's massive cash flow revealed in their third quarter. In fact, local officials in Indonesia say that Tesla is looking to build a new Indonesian Gigafactory. Indonesia is the country with one of the world's largest nickel producers, so this makes sense from a business perspective and I wouldn't be surprised if this happens very soon. When Lucid Motors revealed their new electric SUV, the Lucid Air, many investors were shocked by how revolutionary the specs seemed to be. Yet, this isn't the hate on Lucid, but their manufacturing is in the early stage and it'll be extremely difficult to even start manufacturing the Lucid Air. In the past, Elon Musk has always experienced production issues in a very painful manner. The Tesla Roadster failed miserably to scale up and missed deadlines by a significant amount of time. Their original goal was for 800 vehicles by the middle of 2007. That ended up being delayed until the end of 2007. By the end of 2008, Tesla only delivered 650 Roadsters and their profit margins were a lot less than what they originally predicted. Not only that, but the Model 3 was a total nightmare when Tesla was ramping up its production. I'm sure many of you know that Elon literally had to sleep on a couch inside the factory. My point is, Tesla's rapidly improving Gigafactory was not all positive from the start, and it'll be a rough journey for other EV startups to ramp up production. And that's coming from someone who wants other EV startups to succeed. Because of Tesla's lead, it'll be difficult for other startups to compete on price, although they could possibly have other features that Tesla doesn't have, like the luxury interior that some top-end automakers have today. Overall, we're still in the early stages of Tesla's potential, and the mainstream media doesn't understand this. And that's completely fine, as long as us investors are wide awake while everyone else is still sleeping. Let me know what you think about Tesla's rapidly improving efficiency in the comment section below. Do you think other automakers will be able to catch up? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.